Good morning, friends. Oh my goodness. We're here. Welcome. It's nice to be here. Thank you for every, uh, thank you everyone for joining me. We're going to do a fun, fun fold card today. Actually, two cards, and they're not going to be the same. They're going to have different papers, so it's going to be so much fun. I have some news. This is my last Facebook Live for the year. My husband is only working through this. Well, he has two more days of work, <laughs> and then he's done for the year. So then I'll be done for the year, or, you know, I'll still play, but... And I can't do a Facebook Live on Thursday because I have a doctor's appointment. So this is it. This is my last one for the year on my Stamping to Share page. You guys are so good. You're already sharing. I have no idea what the giveaway is going to be. It's just going to be a surprise. How about that? All right. Good morning. Good morning. Philomena's here. Kathy's here. Rhonda's here. Pauline is here. Donna is here. Yay! We have a lot of watchers. Yvonne is here. So nice to have you here. Um, this is also going to be the last type of Facebook Live where I share cards from other people with you. Now, that is not discontinuing. I'm actually going to do that in a different way. But from starting in January, when I do Facebook Lives on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 10 o'clock, which I still plan to keep that schedule. Of course, I don't do it every Tuesday and every Thursday. It sort of depends on my life. But um, I will just be sharing what I'm doing. Then what I'm going to do, because I've been getting so many wonderful cards, and it would take like seriously a half an hour to share them all with you, so that makes the Facebook Live get really long. So what I'm going to do is I have a, pro well it's not private, it's actually a public Facebook group. It's called Happy Stampers Stamping to Share. And I'm going to jump in there and share cards with you. So actually tomorrow at 1 o'clock, so 1 o'clock on Wednesday, I will jump into my Happy Stamper Stamping to Share Facebook group and I will share with you a bunch of cards from, from customers and downline members and uh, swaps that I've been receiving. Um, so I will do that starting tomorrow. So you, it's my Facebook, it's my last Facebook Live sort of in this style, but I'm going to be jumping into my Happy Stamper Stamping to Share group. So if you're not a part of that, go ahead and join it. You'll find the link on my Stamping to Share business page on Facebook and uh, click join that group and then I will let you in and, and then you won't miss any of the cards that I'm sharing with people. Welcome. Yes, okay, so enough chit chat. I do have a couple things I want to share. This one is from my customer, Isla. She purchased the Poinsettia kit to go from me, the Poinsettia petals kit to go from me. I believe it was October that I did that one. She's been making cards ever since, and she sent me the most gorgeous, gorgeous Christmas cards, so I want to share it with you. Do you not love that? I sure do. So thank you so much, Isla, for such a beautiful card and for thinking of me at Christmas. I love the placement of the rhinestones, too. I'm going to hold it a little closer. And I love that she used the small, the little small poinsettia flowers as accents. And of course, there's loads of uh, heat embossing on here, which is something I don't do very often because it takes too much time. But my, my customers and my downline members do amazing things with heat embossing. And so thank you so much, Isla. I love it. I have another card here from a customer. This one is from Joanne Beek. She is local to me. She picked a stamp set that she had purchased from me a couple of years ago, I believe. And she did the most beautiful coloring with blends. And then, of course, a gorgeous saying. So thank you so much, Joanne. It's really beautiful. And I love that it's just, you know, it's just flat. And it's just beautifully done. It's just simple stamping at its finest with coloring. 
and it's perfect for a Christmas card. And another Christmas card, this one is from a Downline member. So I want to thank Cindy Berg. He was for sending this to me. It uses gnome for the holidays, so get ready for something super cute with um, the wonderful, what is it called? It's some kind of hugs paper, heartwarming hugs paper. So here it is. Thank you so much, Cindy, for such a beautiful card. I love it. I love it in every way. And it's so cutely colored and it's so bright and fun. And I love all the different patterns of paper. Look at how many different patterns of paper Cindy managed to combine on this card. We've got kind of a, a check plaid in the back. We have some diagonal stripes. We have some polka dots and we have, um, Oh, I don't know what this is called, this this other pattern here, but, you know, it's just fantastic. I love it. Oh, so cute. So thank you so much, Cindy. And then I have two uh, quite curvy cards to share with you. So this combines the quite, I can't remember, I think it's called Classic Christmas 6x6 Designer Series Paper with the quite curvy bundle that's stamping up offered as an early offer. So here it is. Is it not beautiful? So this was a, a swap card that I did with this particular bundle. So very fun. I love the little, um, the little birds there. Just so beautiful. And then one more quite curvy hello card that I also received in a swap. So I wanted to share this with you as well. It's so pretty. So much you can do with this bundle. All right, that's all I have for you today, but I have stacks that I still wanna share with you. So again, tune in to my Facebook group called Happy Stampers Stamping to Share and I will jump on at 1 o'clock Central Time tomorrow which is the 16th of December and we'll go over some of those wonderful things that I've been receiving in the mail. Okay so that's it and I'm going to flip the camera down here because we have some really fun fun folds that we're going to do today so give me just a second to get this all set up for you. All right, so let's get down to business here. Here are the fun folds that we're going to make. And there's a couple of sneak peeks in here of things that I think you'll enjoy seeing. So this was a mystery card that I did with my downline at our demonstrator meeting in November. And I've been kind of holding off from showing it to you. So here is the Dandy Garden Designer Series paper. And this is kind of what's cool about this card. We have an elegant looking clasp situation going on here and when you open it up there is your kind of fun fold so you actually pull back on the clasp and then you have this little card that opens up off to the side so it's really cool and I think you guys will really enjoy learning how to do this so this is a new bundle from Stampin' Up! It includes a punch. Look at, at that cute little uh, dragonfly punch. I love dragonflies. Then this one is the Forever Greenery um, paper. And it's the Forever Fern sentiment. This hello is from Forever Fern. Beautiful. Wouldn't you agree? And again, when you and this got the little butterfly. Again, when you open it up, it looks like this. So you have kind of this little uh, piece over here that bends open and then a small card to the left. So this closure holds your small card kind of together. And then finally, this is the Fine Art Floral Paper. And this has that uh, little flower punch that Stampin' Up! sells, which works perfect with this floral background. This, again, is something that will be coming out in January. And so all of my customers just hang tight. Your catalogs are coming, I'm sure. And then you open it up. And then this time, um, instead of doing another flower punch like I did with the other punches, I went ahead and just put a coordinating strip of designer series paper at the bottom. 
So it's just really fun. All right, so let's learn how to do this. It's really an easy thing. So the first thing that you wanna do is you want to pick the designer series paper that you're going to work with because all of the colors on this card W will be pulled from the designer series paper. So you'll want to find a designer series paper that has several colors to work with. Because I just want to point out how many different colors are used. On this particular card, we are using Smoky Slate, Pretty Peacock, Pool Party, Terracotta Tile, and Basic Black. So that's a lot of colors. So the two papers that I'm going to work with today for the two cards that we are doing today, which I will give away, oh, probably on Thursday. Um, well, first, let me tell you the dimensions so I can set this aside. This is two and three-fourths by four and three-quarters. So that is your dimensions. And then I have all of these colors to pick from. So this one, again, is the Forever Greenery paper. Look at that. We have uh, some pretty peacock in there. We have some old olive, some spruce, uh, looks like pear pizzazz, soft sea foam. There's lots of fun colors that you can pick from to create all of the different colors that you're going to need in this card. Same thing with this new paper coming out. This is the Ice Cream Corner paper that's going to be coming out in January with our newest uh, January through June catalog. And you can see here we've got things like Old Olive, Blackberry Bliss, so Saffron, it looks like a Bermuda Bay, uh, lots of gorgeous colors to choose from. And so this is your first step, is to pick out your background paper, cut it to two and three-fourths by four and three-fourths. Then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take a piece of basic black paper, which is really going to help this pop. Anytime you're working with a whole bunch of colors, to really make those colors pop, nothing's going to do it quite like basic black. And so here we have our basic black panel. This is three by five inches. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and put these papers onto the basic black and you will see exactly what I mean by how much they pop. So I have some multi-purpose liquid glue here. So I'm going to flip these papers around and we're just going to do a rectangle of glue on the back of each one. And the reason I'm using glue is... Um, well, this is my third cup of coffee. <laughs> I don't have to be quite as steady with glue. With glue, you've got that little bit of wiggle room. So you can wiggle it into place so all of your borders are even. If you're um, using our Stampin' Steel, which I love and it's very strong, you uh, do need to be a little bit more exacting when you put it down because you, you don't get a chance to wiggle it into place. Where it goes is where it goes. All right, so look at this, you guys. Look at how much that popped, just adding the basic black on the background. It's so cool. All right, so then the next thing is we are going to do our sentiments. So you will need some scraps that coordinate. So I want to pick lighter colored scraps uh, to stamp my sentiment on. So I've got a scrap of Purple Posy to work with this card. And I have a scrap of soft sea foam to work with this card. And so uh, because there's black in this card, it kind of makes sense to go with black ink. So we're going to use Memento Tuxedo Black. And I'm going to use that um, stamp set, which, let me go get it. It's I do see there is something across the room that I need. I'll be right back. It's the Sweet Ice Cream stamp set. So this, again, is a sneak peek into something coming out in January. And there's a little small sentiment here that says, You're so cool, which is what I'm going to use because, like, hello, that works perfect with that paper, right? And there's a punch, and it is it is a very nice stamp set. So we've got the You're so cool I'm inking that up with our Memento Black. 
and then we're going to stamp it about so perfect then I've got um hello which I am stamping on my other panel and there we go oh now I don't have my punch okay so let's just say it was a rough morning I'll be right back Oh, goodness. All right, I'm back. Here is the punch we're using. It is my favorite. Um, it's a masculine type punch. It's a feminine type punch. It's a punch that works for so many different things, and it is going to work great for our closure. But instead of using it the normal way where we insert it like like this and punch out, we're not doing it that way because we want our closure to go up and down. So that's why we're picking small sentiments and we're gonna use the punch like this and we wanna make sure we have enough room at the top to put a cute little um, foil cutout, all right? So I'm gonna just put this in. I'm gonna bring it down a little bit. I'm trying to think what am I gonna use for my Oh, I know what I'm using. All right, so I just had to double check. So the problem is, is I did all this stuff like a long time ago, and now I keep forgetting what it was I did. Because this was back in November when I designed this, this card. And so it's kind of crazy. All right, so you're so cool. We're punching it out. And that's going to go with this card. Then we're going to take the hello... And that one we can't put down quite as far, but that's okay. We're going to use a dragonfly for that one. So just, uh, hold on, i got to make sure this is straight. Then punch that out. And we're going to use that one with this one. All right, then we need a scrap. This is a really thin little scrap. And this is that really super shiny foil. It's our brass foil. And I have another kind of a new sneak peek for you to see. So in the ice cream, uh, or all the, I don't know what you call those, the cool treats, we're going to take a little heart. And we're going to punch out a heart for that spot. So I'm going to flip that over. This is a new punch. Again, something you'll be able to get in January. So there's our heart punch out. And then we're going to um, do a dragonfly punch out. So I've got my dragonfly. So this is a double dragonfly. And we're going to take this one and just punch out a small dragonfly. All right. Then, where is my, where are my glue dots? Okay, so this has been probably the roughest morning I've had in some time because I am just not prepared today. Hold on, I'll be right back with the glue dots. Oh, goodness. All right, here we go with the glue dots. We're taking the small little dragonfly, we're putting him there, and then we're going to take this cute little heart. I'm going to put two glue dots on this heart because it's a little bit bigger. And then we're going to put the heart punch out right here over your so cool. And then we're going to take the dragonfly punch out and set that right here. There we go. Okay, so we have all of that prepared. I think we can set that aside because we actually won't need those for a little bit. All right, that, what's the next thing we can do here? The next thing we can do is our base. So our base is just purely a piece of cardstock cut and scored. So for the ice cream uh, or the cool treat card, I've got Blackberry Bliss. And for the other card that we're making, I have Pretty Peacock. So both of these card pieces are cut at four and a quarter by five and a half and on the four and a quarter side you're going to score at three and a half all right so that means I put the score line right here 
right here at the three and a half inch mark. Then you are going to need more coordinating cardstock that coordinates with your designer series paper. So right here I have a piece of pear pizzazz. And again, it is cut at three and three fourths by four and a quarter. And again, on the four and a quarter inch side, you're gonna score at three and a half. So that's going to go here. And then this one is Bermuda Bay, and that one is going to go here. So we can go ahead now and put those panels on because they both have score lines. You want the score lines to line up. So let me go ahead and get my glue. And we're gonna just set it right in the middle so that we have about the same amount on the top as we do on the bottom. If it's a little bit off, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be exactly equal. And then we're gonna do the same thing for this one. And we're gonna put this on right here. Oh, that looks so cool. Okie doke. Now, the next thing that we're going to need is our small card. Okay, so that is going to go on the left side. And for, the, for this fern, we are going to need five and a quarter by six and a half scored at three and one fourth on the six and a half inch side. So then, let me go ahead and grab my my uh, bone folder, and we're going to go ahead and just glue this on. So I've got my glue again, and this is, what color is this? This is shaded spruce. So that's going to go right here, and you just want to wiggle that into place so that you have about the same amount of room on the top, on the left, and on the bottom. And then for this card, our wonderful Cool Treats card, we have some old olive. And again, let me just share the details with you. Five and a quarter by six and a half. And then on the six and a half inch side, you're going to score it at three and a quarter. And so then we're, again, going to fold that in half. I'm going to burnish that down. And then again, we're going to glue that onto our card. with multi-purpose liquid glue. And that, again, is going to be centered in from top to bottom. And then we want to make sure that the left-hand side has about at the same amount of centering as the top and the bottom. So it all looks very coordinated. There we go. So now, since we're this far along, let's go ahead and finish out our insides. So our inside panels are Whisper White, cut at three by five inches. And you can see that for this one, I just took a little cutout and just put it onto that panel to have a little something on the inside that blends with the outside. And then because it's Whisper White and it's a little thinner, I'm gonna use my Stampin' Seal. And we're gonna go ahead and put this right here. And I did do the top and the bottom because whenever you're working with fancy folds, sometimes people don't really know how they work and, and um, you don't want things too loose and flappy. So unfortunately, because I love loose and flappy, we're not gonna do that with these cards. So let me go ahead and get this one put in. And on this one, I just use a three fourths inch strip of designer series paper and just decorate at the bottom so it would coordinate with the outside. There we go. All right, and now what we're gonna do is we're going to glue on our tops. So we have this one here and this one here. So let's go ahead and do that. And I will share with you, I have not decided what I'm going to do for my kit to go yet in January, because I just honestly haven't had a chance to really even dive into 
the new catalog because I've been so busy working with our regular catalogs and with the holiday catalog. So I'm going to be figuring that out soon, but I can tell you we will be doing a card like this in that kit because this card has been just wildly popular um, with my downline since I created it back in November. So I'm definitely going to make a card like this in my kit to go for my January card kit. I just don't know what bundle I'm using yet, so I'm still thinking about it. But a design like this will be included because it's just such a fun design. All right, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our little uh, sentiments here. So to do that, we do need to get some dimensionals now. And I have those somewhere where is debatable <laughs> oh here they, here they are I thought I was gonna have to run across the room again oh my goodness all right so for this particular card um, I want to put my sentiment just a little bit above where this is and so I'm just gonna flip it over I'm gonna put my dimensionals on the back and then I'm going to set this in just like this, a little bit above this section here, and then press it down. Oh, that looks so great, doesn't it? And then you open it up. So those score lines that we did over here at the three and a half inch mark, when you open it up, that is a little give right there. So it's easy to open up. And there you have your sentiment that goes from the outside to the inside. Isn't that cool? So you never lose sight of the sentiment in this card. So we're going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to put my, my sentiment down. I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to add my two dimensionals. One here. And one here. And we're just going to set that in again. Like this. And then give it a press so this dimensional is whole. Now this keeps your uh, little fancy fold here from popping open. And then the score lines over here, again, give you the flexibility to be able to open this card. So Philomena's telling me she loves this fold. Thank you. So does Jeanne. Thank you, Donna. Thank you. You know, this actually was, I had to come up with a mystery card for my downline. And I was doing it like, you know, the last 10 minutes before the meeting started. And I literally came up with this design myself, which is very rare. <laughs> because most of the time I don't do my own designs. I just kind of creatively copy everybody. Um, but I didn't. I actually came up with this myself. So it was pretty fun. So the two cards that I will give away on Thursday are these two. But they're all beautiful, aren't you? Don't you agree? I love them. Trying to get them all centered here. It's so much fun. So that concludes my last Stamp and Chat with K for 2020. I hope you guys have enjoyed these. I will be doing some different things starting next year. Um, as I mentioned, I will no longer be sharing cards in advance of my Stamp and Chat with K. I will do those separately in Happy Stampers Stamping to Share, a fun group that will get more fun as we share all of these wonderful creations from other demonstrators. And so I will start that um, actually tomorrow at one o'clock, so be sure you can join me for that. And um, I'm switching my email provider because I have been with uh, MailChimp for a long time, so I need a week or so to get my new, uh, I'm gonna switch over to Constant Contact to make payments easier so my customers who are signing up for Kits to Go will have a much uh, smoother way of paying for their Kits to Go. And I think, uh, I guess I just want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and thank you so much for supporting me in my Stampin' Up! business. You have no idea how much I love and appreciate you and I'm so grateful for you. Totally grateful for my downline members, my customers, and especially for my family who sees me through thick and thin with all of this Stampin' Up! stuff and have been since 2007. Take care everybody. Merry Christmas!